apart from all the grooming tips, jawline exercises, even fragrance preferences, there is one thing that people don't actually mention a lot when it comes to being attractive to the opposite sex. At the end of the day, this all boils down to what women evolutionarily find attractive in a man. It does not matter what your eye color is, what your forehead looks like, or even which way your thing curves. Through trial and error and research, I have discovered one thing that drastically improves your attractiveness to women. And in today's video, I'll be telling you what it is and the science behind it. So the way I actually discovered this was throughout my childhood, I would get bullied a lot for being, well, unattractive. Quite literally, I would look like a goblin. And when I look at the youth today, I see these kids walking around with poor posture, poor diets, poor sleeping habits. I mean, it makes sense. Young kids nowadays have everything that they really want. They have all the junk food that they want. They have all the video games that they need. This is a journey that eventually will be a detriment to these children. But this is not going to be a video for the parents of these children. This is going to be a video for you when you find yourself in that situation and you finally decide that you have had enough and you want to actually improve. I remember being this kid with the gut of a 40 year old man that does nothing but play video games and eat chips all day. And that's what I did. This was my life from the ages of eight to 12. I did not get any attention from women and logically it actually makes sense because I was weak, I wasn't confident, I was out of shape and I probably even smelled bad. I honestly felt lost because I did not know what to do with myself. I was ready to accept my fate as a self-proclaimed subhuman, nowadays known as an incel. Something drove me to actually take personal responsibility. This is another reason why we cannot really blame the parents for allowing all of these things. At the end of the day, you need to be the one who makes the decision to improve. I knew something had to change, so I decided to pursue self-development. I started training, I started eating healthy, no more junk food. I even started to analyze how I interact with people and how they respond to me. I tried everything in the book and I saw some results with it, but I still wasn't where I needed to be. I was still missing something, that edge that everyone else seemed to have. It felt like however much I trained, I was seeing no results. However much I practiced talking to people, they still were being avoidant towards me. I didn't realize what was wrong until I made a very conscious effort to start improving for myself and not others. At that point, things started to improve. I actually discovered the golden goose of self-improvement. I discovered a way to actually become attractive doing just one thing. No jaw exercises, no eyebrow grooming, none of that. Just one thing. So what is that very thing that allowed me to become more attractive to people not just women, but also men that would respect me more and bring me more confidence. Well, it's being lean. A study published in 2017 found that in addition to physical strength and height, women also preferred men who were lean. The evolutionary reason being that a lean body shows that you have the ability to fight, to hunt, and to sustain that level of stress over a long period of time. Being lean is something that people subconsciously realize but they have no idea what it actually takes they think if they go from 200 pounds down to 190 they will already be in a good spot but that is often not the case so when i first started losing fat i would actually notice people complimenting me more and people started noticing that i was losing weight and becoming more healthy but this was still not enough so i kept working i kept losing more and more fat at one point i was lean enough to actually start commanding respect from people i was around 12 percent body fat at that point and the amount of compliments I got from everyone was just astounding. People started to respect me more. People started asking me what my training program is like. People started genuinely showing interest in me even when they didn't know who I was or what I did. And this is the biggest change that you will notice is that once you become lean people will start respecting you more. Men seem to have this sort of flawed perception of what an attractive body looks to women. Yes, broad shoulders, chest, it's all important, but at the end of the day, women look for lean men. And I don't just mean lean as in a skinny guy. No, lean and muscular. If you have wide shoulders and you are sub 15% body fat, you will notice a drastic change in how people perceive you. So if you're someone who's skinny, you're already at a good starting point. You can start actually gaining muscle. But if you're someone like me, whose starting point was a fat goblin, you will first need to lose that fat. The cool thing about being a newbie is that you can actually build muscle and lose fat at the same time. By the end of your 
quote unquote cut where you're supposed to be losing the majority of your fat you could actually be looking like someone who lifts so the fact that men don't really know what women want is uh, supported by a study published in 2019 the study found that the muscle groups that women actually find attractive are the ones that are most prominent for lean people. So these are obliques, abs, quads, shoulders. If you're someone who is big and strong, but you're not very lean, you won't have any of these things showing and women won't find you that attractive. So your goal throughout this entire thing should be to be as lean as possible. Yes, there are women out there who prefer the daddy type of body a big guy with a gut hanging over the waistband but at the same time are you really going to go for that 0.1 percent of women that actually find that attractive strength height and leanness these are the three things that matter you can be strong without being severely overweight trust me so the reason why getting lean is so powerful actually is the fact that all of these other things all these other areas of your life of your face of your body composition that you will want to improve will actually become easier so for an example if you're someone whose jawline is weak or you want to improve it by mewing invented by dr john mew you can check out his stuff i highly recommend his uh, podcast appearances and his book i'll put a link to that in the description you will find that improving your jawline is not as hard anymore if you are more lean because your jawline naturally starts to protect that and if you're someone who has a really weak jawline and even if you lose that fat you still have a weak jawline in addition to the mewing exercises you can do which won't get you that far actually they won't change your facial structure completely especially if you're a bit older you can grow a beard just like i have now my jawline naturally when i'm lean when i'm super lean is not actually that bad it is quite strong but I decided to go for the beard anyways because it enhances your facial structure. Growing a beard was literally the straw that broke the camel's back for me because once I did that, I started immediately noticing that things were changing. When I got lean, I started getting a lot of attention from women and I started getting a lot of positive attention from men which commands respect. But when I got a beard, almost everyone was sort of around me all the time for some reason. And I couldn't figure it out. So after doing some questioning of straight up going up to people and saying, hey, do you like my beard? <laughs> Which I know sounds super stupid, but I tried it and more than 90% of people said that it fits me. There is a key thing to notice here. You probably don't want your beard to get too big because men for some reason don't know how to groom their beard very well. So unless you have access to a very, very good barber, I recommend keeping it short like I do. It is simple. It is effective and it looks good. So if you look at me on the side, I've turned it from here to here. So it kind of accentuates my jawline. A study published in 2013 showed that women actually prefer men with stubble as opposed to clean shaven. The study interestingly also showed that women actually think that men with big beards are more masculine and more likely to be good parents. So this explains why people say the beard is a male makeup. So what happens when you can't grow a beard? You've probably heard of compounds like Rogaine and Finasteride. Personally, I don't use them because I don't need to. I keep my diet in check and that causes my beard to grow out. But if you find yourself having a patchy beard before trying any of these compounds, make sure your diet is on check because I noticed my beard started getting patchy around the time where I was completely sleep deprived. I was not eating healthy. I was barely working out. So chances are it's simply because of your lifestyle. So at the end of the day, this all boils down to getting lean. If you're already lean, just bulk up, just gain muscle. If you're a hard gainer, just build muscle. That's all you will need to do. You can still grow a beard. You can still do all the jawline exercises. But if you're someone who was like me, the biggest change you will notice is getting lean. So get lean, fix your jawline, grow a beard if you have to. This will all contribute to your confidence in the form of the way you carry yourself and the compliments you will be getting from other people. This will make you the hyper confident man. This will carry over to every single area of your life. Things as simple as getting a job from a job interview. Imagine you walked into that room and the person who's interviewing you looked at you and thought to themselves, wow, he looks really good. He carries himself well. He clearly works out. He is lean. He has a nice beard. All of these things will actually start to subconsciously affect the people around you and make them respect you more. You will not only become attractive to women, you will also become attractive to men not in that way you know you will obviously become attractive to gay men as well 
which is the risk that you kind of have to take. But you will also become very respected and people will take you more seriously simply because you're lean. It shows that you put in the hard work. It shows that you have actually gone to the gym. You've made the decision to eat healthy. At the end of the day, isn't this what we all want? We want respect, love, and we can achieve all of that by just being more attractive. If you want me to discuss a specific subject I talked about in this video, like mewing for an example, let me know in the comments. If you like this video, make sure to share it with someone who might find it helpful too. I'll be seeing you in the next one. Fly high. Mwah.